began about twilight, not too long ago, on a lonely stretch of beach just north of La Paz, Mexico. The story of a girl, a man, and fate all tangled up together. Where did you come from? Question is, why didn't I get here sooner? Where did you come from? Over there. I've got a boat. I, uh, I fish. You do? For a living? If you can call it a living. Do you? Oh, I like it. My name's Arnold. Dave Arnold. I'm Rita Kendrick. Glad to know you. You haven't told me why you were waiting for me. Could be that I've been waiting for you for a long time. It's been nice talking to you. Goodbye, Mr. Arnold. Maybe, but I know what I want. You haven't known me five minutes. What's the difference, five minutes a day or a lifetime? I'm afraid you've been out on that boat too long. Could be. Listen, Mr. Arnold, I've got my own way of life, my own world. I want to keep it that way. I... I... I can't afford to have it spoiled. It's already spoiled, and you know it. Goodbye, Mr. Arnold. You'll find me aboard the Lady Luck.
I didn't think you were coming. I almost didn't. You afraid of me? No. Afraid of me. Here, sit down. Oh. Give yourself a chance. It's a nice boat. Clean. We get by. Comfortable? No. Very. You walk in these things? <laughs> I got here, didn't I? Yeah. Put loose and fancy free? Not so fancy. You'll do. You still think I'm crazy? No. I think I am. I think you're wonderful. What are you doing here at La Paz? Vacation. Cigarette? I'll be, uh, leaving day after tomorrow. Oh? And then? Back to Los Angeles. A very dull sort of life. That's kind of hard to believe. Kind of hard to take. Then why take it? You can't always have everything you want. You told me this afternoon that you had everything you wanted. Not everything. Dave? Yeah? Kiss me. What did you say? I said, kiss me. That's what I thought you said. I'll be pulling out for L.A. in a couple of weeks. Where can I find you? How do you know you want to find me? Oh. You know, maybe you are crazy. Dave, eh? do you have much money? What do you think? No, I guess not. Would you like to have money? A lot of money. Well, I don't know. I can take it or leave it alone. Who do I have to kill? Oh. I've got to go. Now? Now. Well, don't go now. I have to. But why? I'll come tomorrow. Same time. But this isn't human. Maybe I'm not human, Dave.
Where did you disappear to? I got bored. Three hours of cocktail before dinner is just a little too much. Oh? I'll tell you when it's time for dinner. Holly, you're hurting me. You gotta treat them rough, then you control them. Oh, Please, stop it, Holly. Holly, you're drunk. Shut up. You just don't know much about women, do you? I know enough to respect them, Holly. Respect? <laughs> respect everything you've got. Your money, position, reputation. Never respect the woman. Your coffee, senora. Oh, thank you. Coffee. Kill joy. Can I take your order, sir? Well, that's why we're sitting here, isn't it? Oh, si, senor. Uh, can I take your order? Scotch all around, double. Don't you think maybe we've had enough? No, I don't think maybe we've had enough. Three scotches, double. Oh, Molly, I have my coffee. Take it away. Mr. Arnold. Shot of bourbon? Yes, sir. It's about time. Join the party. Honey, I didn't want it in the first place. I just can't keep up. Not Drink your drinks. Hi. Hello, Mr. Arnold. Who's this? I'm sorry to intrude like this, sir. You must be Rita's father. Father! Well, what's the matter with him? Well, Rita, aren't you going to introduce us? May I introduce my husband, Mr. Kendrick? Oh, you're kidding. No, I guess you're not. Excuse me. Oh, you shouldn't have done that, Mr. Kendrick. Even if she does deserve it. You better take him home, Mrs. Kendrick. Let me get into the boat. I put him to bed. He went out like a light. Thanks. I... I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh, it was nothing. I can't understand it. He's such a nice chap when he's sober and so unreasonable when he's drinking. How often have you seen him sober since we left? Have you ever considered leaving him? I haven't a penny. You have friends? Friends. All my friends are his friends. That's not exactly true, Mrs. Kendry. Meaning? Meaning me. Rita. Oh, you're very nice, Mr. Chalmers. Please call me Larry. Larry. Rita, let me help you. Please, here, take this. All of it. Oh, Larry. You make me so ashamed. I understand. Pride. And I admire you for it, Rita. I admire you very much for it. Can't let foolish pride interfere with happiness now, can we? Shouldn't we? Of course not, Rita. You're so understanding, so kind. Oh, rubbish. I'll tell you what. A thousand dollars should see you through until your attorney can arrange a settlement. A thousand? All right, then we'll make it two thousand, just to be sure. Oh, no, Larry. I just couldn't accept it. Oh, I'm not giving it to you. It's a loan. Yes, but how will I ever pay it back? Oh, don't worry about it. There you are. Oh, no, Larry, I just don't feel right. Oh, nonsense. Now, look, there's a little apartment out on the Sunset Strip. A friend of mine is going to Europe. Now, you'll be very comfortable there until uh, everything is settled. Now, please. Oh, Larry. Do you think he heard? I wonder if he did. I don't 
I don't think so. There hasn't been a sound. You'd better go on. All right. Oh, thank you. Come in. Nice work. Let's have it. On the dotted line. And we only had to work on that chump for three weeks. Rita, you're terrific. I think so. Anything else? Hope I didn't slap you too hard. You overdid it a little. Wait till you see my next and greatest performance. Mr. Chalmers, what went on after you put me to bed last night? Well, what do you mean, old man? You know what I mean. Why did you give my wife a check for $2,000? In payment for what? And then I'll lay it right on the line. We'll hook him for keeps. I hope so. Good night. Just a minute. I want a few answers out of you. All right, Harley. I met him on the beach this afternoon. He made a pass at me. I told him to run along. You know the type. That's all. That's all. Oh, please, Harley. I thought we settled this kind of thing in the beginning. Rita. The answer is still no. Rita, don't ever try to leave me. Or I may... You may what? We've been working together for three years. During that time, we pulled some pretty shady operations. What are you trying to say? There are a few policemen in the States who would be quite interested in both of us. You're bluffing. You see, Rita, in my way, I'm very fond of you. Without you, life would hardly be worth living. Are you threatening me? There's one way to find out. You've lost your mind. Quite possibly. You do that to a man, my dear. Don't ever threaten me, Harley. Good night. Operadora de la Marina llamando a Lady Luck. Marine operator. This is Lady Luck. Hold on, Lady Luck. All right, here's your party. Dave? That's right. I've got to see you. All right. Swim. Oh, please. It's important. Tell it to your husband. We're leaving tomorrow. Dave, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Where do you want me to meet you? Uh, just north of town. You know, uh, you know that big cliff over the rocks? I'll be there at 5.30. Right. talk to me about? About you and me. That should be interesting. There's something I want you to know. I want to be honest with you. Well, that'll be refreshing. It's, uh, it's not a pretty story. 
I'm not married to Harley Kendrick. Never was. Well, then why did you tell me the oh, other Dave, day? please. Just let me talk, huh? All right, go ahead and talk. Three years ago, I met Harley. I was broke, and I was sick. He offered me security and... Such as? No, no, no. No, not what you're thinking, Dave. Not that at all. It was a business deal. He had... a racket. He needed a new partner. And I needed money. What's the racket? Blackmail. Oh? Oh, that's a nice little business. But that's all it was. Just a business agreement, nothing more. You've got to believe that. Because when I met you, something happened to me. Something... fine. And... and wonderful. I knew I had to get away from you. I never knew what it was to love till I met you. I want... I want to belong to you, Dave. Women like you belong to nobody. And everybody. I belong to you. dear. Another walk up the beach. How did you guess it? Where's Larry? I imagine he's halfway to Pasadena by now. You're kidding. Rita, I was magnificent. You would have been proud of me. I was a pathetic figure of the outraged, broken-hearted husband. Larry was a shaken, chastened man. He also saw fit to soothe my broken spirit with 25,000 beautiful American dollars, which I was clever enough to have certified. I suppose you'll uh, give me my half of those beautiful American dollars. And have you put as much distance as possible between me and your lovely self? No, my dear. You shall have the best that money can buy, but not the money itself. You promised me an equal share. You've cheated me for three years, and I'm sick of it. Sick? Sick of all this? Sick of the lovely clothes you wear, of the fine food you've been eating, the leisurely life you've been leading? <laughs> Rita, my darling, you must be out of your mind. Maybe. But if I am, I'm dangerous. Only to yourself, my dear. Don't corner me, Harley. I'm not a bit afraid. I would be if I was you. If I were you. You see how much you need me? I created you. I taught you everything you know. I made a fine lady out of a cheap little girl. A fine shill. A cheap con man. Confidence man, maybe, but never cheap. With me, you always go first class, and that's the only way you can exist. Am I right, Rita? Where do we go now? That's my girl. Tomorrow we head to Sea Witch back to the States. Summer at Balboa and, uh, and wait. This is just peanuts, Rita. We're pointing for the big kill. There's plenty of careless money at Balboa Island. Oh, hi, Pablo. A lady. 
She said for me to give you this. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Senor Arno. Harley's taking me to Balboa. That's why I couldn't see you before I left. Oh, please, Dave, come to me. I'm so terribly frightened of him. I'll be waiting, darling. Rita. I sold my interest in her. Say, so you need a partner? You sold the lady like, and then you want to buy in. I don't get it. Well, don't worry about it. I'm buying in for two grand. That's all right with you. Oh, sure, sure. With the two grand, we can get her all fixed up. Say, uh, Tony, is there a guy named Kendrick got a boat around here anywhere? Yeah, just down the way. You know the big shot? Yeah. Know his wife? Man, there's one lots of women. She's the most beautiful, luscious, ripe tomato yeah. I have. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I guess you do. She wouldn't be the reason you sold the lake luck, would you? Could be. Look, David, it ain't none of my business, but fishermen, smart fishermen, don't go chasing yachts abroad, especially if they're married. And who says they're married? Well, aren't they? No. Well, well I still say she ain't your type of dame. Use your head. Look what she's used to. Tony, I, uh, I want to see her tonight. But, Will you tell her? But, Dave, look, I don't want... Will you tell her? Yeah, I'll tell her. Oh, Dave, I've missed you so, darling. I've missed you so much. Please tell me again. I love you, Rita. Oh, don't ever stop telling me. I love you, I love you, I love you. That sounds wonderful. Hey, you've got pretty ears. Oh, Dave. I can't stand being away from you much longer. You can't stand it. <laughs> How do you think I feel? You've got to leave him, Rita. You've got to. Spend five to ten years in prison. Besides, what, uh... What would we live on? I, uh... I wanted to tell you about that. I, uh... I bought a half interest in another boat today. And everything is going to be swell. Just swell. It won't work, Dave. Let me tell you what happens to people without money. I know. I watched it happen to my mother and dad. They started out in love. But they didn't stay that way. Six of us lived in a two-room shack. They worked like dogs just trying to grow enough food to keep us alive. I watched their love turn sour. They hated each other. Then they hated us kids. We were mouths to feed. They just dried up inside. And you know what finally killed them? Nothing but being poor. I watched it all happen since I was real little. <laughs> it hurt you so bad. 
you never forget it. It drives you crazy. It eats at you. Until uh, one day, having money gets to be an obsession that can't be cured. You can't live without money. And you can't love without money. Not for long. I'll never be poor again, Dave. Well, I'll never be rich. You can be, darling. Believe me, you can be very rich. Yeah? How? When I first started working for Harley, I made him sign a paper. If either one of us dies, the other gets the money. I know he has close to $100,000, half of it mine. And I still have that paper signed, witnessed, and notarized. All right. So maybe in 30 years you can collect. He looks pretty healthy to me, and besides, Rita, you How and I... How much do you love me? More than life. More than death. What do you mean? We don't have to wait 30 years. It can happen now. What? It's the only way. It could be an accident. I thought it all out. No one needs to know. Boats do blow up. Rita. A dozen sticks of dynamite would blow that boat right out of the ocean, and we'd be rich. Rita, you're sick. Obsessed. Oh, Rita, you've got to forget him. You've got to leave him. It's the only way. No, Rita. The only way. No. Fine whiskey. Your feet. Huh? Oh. Well, that you've satisfied your thirst, maybe you'll be good enough to give me a report. Now, get the picture. The night is soft, balmy. There they were, in each other's arms. Who was he? The uh, very amorous young man. I followed them, and they went aboard a small fishing boat called the Ebony Arrow. It's tied up not 100 feet from here. And one of the young men near the boat called our uh, friend Dave Arnold. What else? Well, they were so close that I really... That's didn't... enough. I want to know every move she makes. Someone's coming. You better go out this way. Good night, Mr. Kenrick. Good evening. That's what I understand. Where have you been? Out. Really? What's happened to us? Us? Nothing's happened to us. There was never anything between us. I know one thing. I've made a dreadful mistake with you. What do you mean? I've been too kind, too gentle. A woman like you needs a good beating at least once a week. Oh, Harley, please. I'm quite serious. Oh, I'm sure you are. I'm tired. Good night. When did Mr. Arnold get into town? How did you know? There are ways of finding out almost anything. All right. Let's get it over with once and for all. He's here. I love him. What are you going to do about it? There's only one thing I can do about it for now. Wait. Wait until you get tired of your dirty-necked fisherman. You'll have a long wait. I think not. You're not the type of girl who passes up a fortune for hamburgers and beans. And I want my money. All of it. Your money is on your back. You are so right. I'd have to beg for lunch money. In this yacht, in the way we live, our business requires a tremendous oh, overhead. Oh, that again. The bills have to be paid. And so if you leave me, you haven't got any money. Fine. Keep it. I'm walking out on Without you. Without the money? Without a dime. Get yourself another girl. There's a whole wardrobe down there of overhead, size 10. Get someone to fit them. You'll never leave me. Won't I? No, you won't, and I'll tell you why you won't. We are too much alike, you and I, Rita. The patterns are identical. That's what you think. We're sick. You are. Our love of money is a disease. Six months with him and you'll be bored to tears. 
And you'd have him just as sick and just as rotten as you are now. <gasps> you ever made. The first. And, uh, for last. Something wrong? Listen, darling. Darling, I'm, I'm at the Mason Arms in San Pedro. What happened? Just come. Just come right away. Rita. Please. Rita. Rita. <laughs> you think I want anything? Knock a want. I came to give you one last chance. Well? How would you like to make $10,000? Fine. How? Don't try to see Rita. Don't try to communicate with her. Just disappear. I didn't know that you cared. She's a valuable piece of property. If I could keep her by spending a few dollars, I'd consider it a good investment. So what if I take Rita and the money? You get half now and half when she comes back to me. Cash? Naturally. I knew I could buy you. And what if we make off with the five grand? They won't spend this way. Half now. All oh, now. Let go of me. Stop your crying as Rita's money. That's for thinking you can buy me off. And that's for the beating you gave Rita. Now get out of here. You don't know how lucky you are.
name's Arnold. Yeah, I know. Mine's McGonagall. J.J. McGonagall. How much is Kendrick paying you to follow me? You said he was. Isn't he? Maybe. Well, maybe I'd like to buy you off. Oh, now, wait a minute. I've been retained by Mr. Kendrick. No man can serve two masters. It uh, ain't ethical. Would that bother you? What you have in mind? Money. Oh, good. I uh, thought you might want to pay me off in halibut. How much? No reasonable sum. You don't make a reasonable sum in a year. Came into some money today. Yeah, I know. Ten grand, to be exact. Let me give you some advice. You look like a nice young fella. Don't stick your neck out. What do you mean? Dump this girl. Take the ten G's and get out of town. That way you may stay healthy. through with it. I'm going to take that stuff and dump it off the boat. Why? Because we're decent, civilized people and we can't do it. Oh, we, we can. You know we can. Dave. Dave, don't do this to me. Darling, darling, I know it's a terrible thing we're doing, but don't you see it's the only way we can be together? We can go to the chair together. to you. Oh, I just woke up, that's all. What kind of happiness do you think we'd have? We'd be together. Yes, and every time I looked at you or you looked at me, we'd see Kendrick and what we'd done. You mean it, don't you? You bet your life I mean it. Besides, Kendrick is having you followed, and he probably knows all about the dynamite. How do you know? I talked with them both. The detective gave me some advice. He told me to forget you and get out of town. With this. He give you that? No, Kendrick. Why? For the same reason. To leave town and forget you. Well? You and I are going to take this money and go away. And nobody gets hurt. It's a miserable percent of what we should have. Well, it's a million percent better than the chair. And you'll be the wife of an almost honest fisherman. What do you say? What can I say? You can say you love me. I love you. And I love you, Rita. I always will. Oh. Always is such a long time, darling. that a beauty? They don't store face powder in there, Mr. Kendrick. Maybe you ought to let her go. That little lady intends to blow you sky high. You know what's in that little package, Mr. Kendrick? I've got an idea. You bet you have. Wiring. Electric wiring, Mr. Kendrick. Your foot. 
Oh. If I were you, I'd, uh, I'd pay her off. And kiss her off. She's dynamite. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Dynamite. <laughs> maybe I like playing with dynamite. Yeah, maybe. Quietly. Tell Captain Getz I'm here. Hogan is here, sir. Send Hogan in alone. Yes, sir. He wants to see you alone first. You wait right over here. Captain will see you now. My name is Jennings. I'm with the district attorney's office. Oh, I guess you know who we are. That's right, Mrs. Kendrick and Mr. Arnold. I have here some photographs of some of the best-known confidence men in the country. Can you identify any one of them as Harley Kendrick? Yes, that's Harley. It, uh, it must have been taken years ago. Legal name, Harold King. Born Grays Junction, Colorado, 1900. Embezzlement, Detroit, 1927. San Francisco, 1949, blackmail. Hmm. He was quite an operator. Was? Thanks. I'll see what Captain Getz has on his mind. Dave, he said Harley was an operator. Just take it easy. Whatever happened, we didn't do it. Come in, please. Captain Getz, this is Mrs. Kendrick and Mr. Arnold. How do you do? How do you do? Won't you sit down, please? Sit right here, Mrs. Kendrick. Thank you. Mr. Arnold. I don't suppose you know any more about the accident than we do. What accident? You mean you don't know why you're here? No one has told us anything. But uh, you made it sound as if Mr. Kendrick was dead. I'm sorry, Mrs. Kendrick. Your husband is dead under rather strange circumstances. And just what are those circumstances, if you don't mind? Mrs. Kendrick, could your husband handle a boat alone? Oh, yes. He usually did. Forgive me, Mrs. Kendrick, but you don't seem to be exactly broken up by his death. I'm not. May I ask why? Yes. I hated him. Oh? Look, would you mind telling us what happened? He gassed up this morning, told some friends of his at the yacht club that he was going to San Pedro. And then a little while later, 
In the channel, the sea witch blew up. And Harley? When 600 gallons of gasoline explode, well, chances are we'll never, we'll never find anything. I can't believe it. Yes. Terrible, isn't it? You know, things look pretty rough for both of you a while back. What do you mean? They told us at the yacht club that Mr. and Mrs. Kendrick had quarreled violently. That he beat her up, and then she left him. Well, that's reason for leaving, isn't it? We also heard that the other reason was you. Go on. As the captain said, things looked awfully bad, but then you got a lucky break. We found out that Kendrick hired a private investigator to watch both of you. <laughs> What's so lucky about that? He's your alibi. McGonagall is the name. He says he tailed you out of town yesterday. That neither one of you got back until Kendrick had already shoved off. So you couldn't possibly have done it, could you? You see, there's really nothing to get flustered about, just police routine. That's all. If we've inconvenienced you, our apologies. Can we go now? You can go now. Thank you. Thank you. Mind if we go in here? I need a drink. one bourbon, straight. You'll want something in that coffee, ma'am. Cream and sugar. Nothing. He's dead, and we didn't do it. Darling, don't you see what that means? Yeah, I think we're in trouble. No, no, darling. Don't you see? They haven't had anything on us. I'll give all his money. I still got Hello, it. Hello, kids. How'd everything go? Fine. I set you up with a nice, clean alibi, though. Didn't I? Why? Well, because I'm your pal, that's why. What do you want, McGonagall? Oh, just a little friendly talk. Why don't you uh, drop by my office tonight? I'll pick up some nice cold beer, say about uh, 9 o'clock. Get out of here. See you at 9. Oh, by the way, uh, don't let the beer get warm. I hate warm beer. There you are. You never let us off the hook. But we didn't do anything. We know it, and McGonagall knows it, but the cops will never believe it. What gets cleared is, he said so. That's what he said, but he didn't buy it. And why didn't he hold us? Because he hasn't got a case yet. They're playing it smart by acting stupid. Who did kill him, Dave? Here's luck. 
And uh, you certainly need it. Come on, drink up. Oh, you're not thirsty? <laughs> All right. You know, I, uh, I honestly feel sorry for you two. You know we didn't have anything to do with it? Well, of course I do. You know who did it? <laughs> Naturally. Who? Kendrick. What? You mean he killed himself? That's right. You heard him. Real deep. <clears throat> all right, McGonagall. Get with it. What happened? Uh, it all started when I uh, showed him these. There you are. <laughs> Rather good, don't you think? I've never seen a man who, who wanted revenge so badly. I'm afraid that won't do you much good. I uh, have the negatives. Anyway, it was then he got his magnificent idea. He said that you, Mrs. Kendrick, would never have the nerve to plant the dynamite. And that he would. So? So I bought the dynamite. He planted it on the boat. He was going to take the boat out, head her straight for the harbor entrance. Light a five-minute fuse, jump overboard, and swim ashore. And leave you two stuck with a murder app. Oh, that's sweet. Real sweet. But... But what? Something went wrong. It seems he never got to shore. A very unfortunate oversight on his part. So, I decided to work for you two. For how much? Shall we say, uh, 10,000? Five. Ten. I give you the negatives and forget that I ever saw you. Yeah? How do we know that we can trust you to keep the trap shut? You can't. However, the kind of money that you make wouldn't interest me. What about the money uh, I get from Harley's estate? Oh, uh, yes, I meant to tell you about that. There, uh, there is no estate. When Harley blew himself up, he also blew up the $100,000. We're licked. Give him the money, Dave. You mean that? You were right. We don't need the money. We don't need anything but each other. The negative. Oh, yes. Let's get out of here. Thanks. Taxi! Darling, would you mind? I'd like to be alone. I understand. You've had a hard day. I'll be on the boat. Mason Arms, 10th and Spruce. Thanks, darling. I thought he was kind of cute.
Well, this is pleasant, but uh, hardly a surprise. No. Where the money is, you'll be. But that's, uh, that's perfectly all right with me. Away from me. Well, you're a little late in the game to be so choosy, aren't you? Give me back that money. It's mine. Oh, of course. But I'd go with it. But we'll spend it together. Not you. Just the money. I want it. All of it. Now, wait a minute. Before you get too nervous, there's something you ought to know. I wrote this just in case. All the dope on the dynamite and a little print of the photograph. Tomorrow it goes into my safety deposit box. Never to be opened. Unless, uh, unless something should happen to me. Or, uh, would you rather I mail it tonight? Now, give me the gun, please. Don't drop that letter. You see? I've got big plans for us. Big plans. Now it's my turn to drink champagne, eat caviar, and you're just the little girl who's gonna do it for me. Kendrick trained you, taught you the business. <laughs> a fool to let you go. I, uh, I'm not too bad to take. I can be quite charming when I want to be. You'll like me. One way or another. together. You hear me? Pull yourself together. We've got to get out of town before they pick up that letter. Oh, eight o'clock in the morning. Well, that's a now pull you... oh, it's Tony. He's got somebody with him. Get below. Get below. Hurry up. I want you to meet the prettiest little gal in San Pedro. Julie, Dave. Hi, Pappy. Come on, honey. I want to show you my little old boat. Okay. Tony, don't go on board the boat. Huh? Oh, you got a friend, huh, Dave? You got a friend on the boat. 
Well, all right. We won't bother you. We'll just sit down over here. Get rid of her, Tony. I got to talk to you. You nuts? Get rid of her. You his old man or something. Listen, honey. It's very important that I talk to Tony. So talk. Yeah, so talk. <laughs> Tony, I got to talk to you. Alone. Gee whiz. Take a cab home. Uh, I gotta talk to my buddy. Some gentleman, I'll say. Oh, what's the matter, Pappy? We have to get out of town. Fast. Why? Rita just killed a man. Rita did. Listen, Dave, let her do her own running. She's no good. Are you going to help me? Sure. Sure, Dave. What I do? All right. Just take the Ebony Arrow north. As far and as fast as you can. They'll be looking for her. That'll give us some time to get started. Don't answer the radio. Make them come find you. Where are you going? I'm not going to tell you. Then you won't have to lie to anyone. Whatever you say. You, you need some money? Yeah. Yeah, I could use a couple of them. Here. Here's three. I'll see you get it back. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, it was nice having you for a partner while it lasted. Mrs. Arnold? No. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Did you hear that? Mrs. Arnold. Mrs. David Arnold. Oh, wow. Doesn't that sound terrific? Yeah. Has a good permanent sound, too. Anything ever permanent? Rita. Rita, you and I are going to make this permanent. Even after what I've done? Oh, will you forget all that? Sure. You're quite a guy, Dave. <laughs> cut it out, cut it out. Hey, wedding dinner tonight? 
all the trimmings, the works. Babe, I love you. I love you. You know what I'm going to do? I am going out and buy my husband the biggest and the best wedding present in town. All right. All right, I'll go with you. Oh, no. This has got to be a surprise. You know, I, uh, I don't really need a wedding present. Oh, please, I want to. Okay, but you better get out of here before I change my mind. Yeah, we back. Mm, promise. I'll only be a minute. old times, isn't it, Mrs. Arnold? Start walking, dear. I've chartered a new boat. Very much like to show it to you. You'll like her. Yes, just like old times. To the future, no matter how black it may seem to you. Only you hadn't killed poor J.J. That was a mistake. Life is a mistake, Harley. You're wrong, Rita. Life is a racket. It rewards the strong and destroys the weak. You're right. I have to be. To us, the strong. To us. How did you know where I was? I haven't let you out of my sight since you left the police station. They'll pick us up. They'll pick us all up. Not me, dear. But what have I done? I, I had an accident. Loss of memory for a while, and that's it. But you... How does this sound? In the morning, we fly to South America. No extradition worries, nothing. Nothing but easy living. Harley, you're the smartest man I ever knew. And the only man who can help you. I'm the girl who never wanted to be poor. I'm the poorest woman in the world. I, I don't even have my self-respect. You won't need it. No, I know. Harley, come closer. You always wanted to. Three.
Hi. Hi. I've been worried sick about you. Where on earth have you been? I got lost. Crying. No, no, I haven't. Dave, hmm? it's too early before we go down to dinner. Couldn't we go down to the beach and take a swim? You remember, you remember what the place where we first met? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Couldn't we do that? I'd like that very much. All right, all right, I'd like it too. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'd better go change. Hello, darling. Hi. Where did you come from? Question is, why didn't I get here sooner? Much sooner. Much, much sooner. Oh. Take some people a lifetime to find someone to love. We've got a lifetime ahead of us. You have, Dave. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I... I... Why, Captain Getz? He's lying down here to get me. Why, Rita? Why? Because the blood's too thick on my hands, Dave. And you're too nice a guy to mess up. Hold me. Hold me close. Time's going so fast. You mustn't talk like this. You mustn't talk like this. We'll make it. We'll make it together. Got to believe that. Not now, Dave. Not people like me there. Just isn't any chance. I just can't stay dead. Better say goodbye to the man, my dear. 